what I'd like to see is robotics or mechatronics devices being used in everyday applications for people in the home, in the workplace, as well as hospitals and long-term care facilities. Dr. Goldie Najat is an assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical and Industrial Engineering at the University of Toronto. She is the founder and director of the Autonomous Systems and Biomegatronics Laboratory. Now there's this kind of new area of robotics, and the, this is really using robots in everyday life and society. And so what uh, we're focusing on is developing robots as tools that people actually use on a daily basis, and this new area of human-robot interaction. Brian is a socially assistive robot, and he's been designed to be human-like. Madame Najat explique que le principal objectif était de rendre Brian capable de fournir une stimulation cognitive et sociale aux personnes âgées. Brian peut, par exemple, les guider dans une activité quotidienne, comme prendre un repas. Il peut aussi faire des blagues pour leur procurer une stimulation sociale ou les inviter à une partie de cartes ou un jeu de mémoire. Professor Najat has been my supervisor for nearly three and a half years. I chose to come and study with her because she is the cutting edge in robotics research. She has really expanded my options. She pushes me to the limit and she gets my name out in our field. I really feel that I have a better future because of her. This research area is very multidisciplinary and it lets me, allows me to learn a lot of different things. One of the special things about Professor Najat is that she makes me think. Dr. Najat has also created a rugged, semi-autonomous robot, MARP, with the unique ability to learn, to explore, and map 3D unknown and highly cluttered environments in order to find trapped victims. The main objective here is that you have a very time-critical task. You want to go in there as quickly as possible, find all the survivors, and try to take them out. But for the rescue workers, this is very stressful and time-consuming, as well as uh, they become very fatigued doing so. Um, so what we'd like to do is design robots... Nous concevons des robots qui peuvent être déployés sur les lieux d'une catastrophe. On peut donc les envoyer d'abord pour cartographier les lieux, repérer les victimes, les indiquer sur la carte, puis fournir cette information aux sauveteurs. After that we know there's victims in there as well as that the disaster scene is structurally sound before we send in more people. It's put a spotlight on the University of Toronto. Goldie has brought in a new and unique research area in social and assistive robots. Her research will alter senior care and search and rescue effort. Her work is at the forefront of robotic research. For her thoroughness, rigor and imagination, Engineers Canada is proud to present to Goldie Najat Pienge the 2013 Young Engineer Achievement Award.